Hi everybody, my name is Josie Lancy and I'm from Newport Ritchie, Florida and we're in the second round of the side dishes and as you can see I'm all alone again no camera people but um, I'll do my best with the camera work and of course the Real Women of Philadelphia is such a great contest and I'm still having lots of fun with it and I shared a little bit about myself in the dessert um, part of uh, my childhood where I was born and then um, now I'm going to share a little bit of the second chapter of my life. Um, I was employed with an airline for 15 years, so I had to travel a lot um, for, for my job and had to move several times. The first move was from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Philadelphia, so believe it or not, in 1991 I moved to Philadelphia for two years just to end up in South Carolina for seven years. And um, that's actually when I met Paula on TV on the Food Network. But before that, I met the Southern girls in the new town where I moved to. And let me just say, it was a tiny town. And of course, the Southern folks over there are so lovely and so nice. And they had to greet us and meet us. And then we told them where we were coming from, Philadelphia. And then, but we really technically, uh, most of our life was spent in Florida, just to be called a Yankee. So I looked at my husband and I'm thinking, well, I don't know, we technically really lived in Florida most of our life. But, you know, since we're not from here, I guess we're considered Yankee. So a couple of days passed after we moved, and one of my neighbors came over with a welcome gift. And um, let me share that welcome gift for you. The welcome gift was this tiny little cookbook, and this is probably about almost 20 years old. And it's called Any Idiot Can Cook with Simple Southern Recipes. So I, I thanked the lady that she dropped me this little book, and I said I'd let her know what I thought about it. And then when I realized it said any idiot can cook, I started thinking, oh my God, does she think I'm an idiot? She doesn't even know me. But I certainly could cook a few southern dish, but I learned many, many, many of them um, through my girlfriends in South Carolina. And also, just for Paula, I'd like to share with you that I upgraded from this southern cookbook to this southern cookbook. This is my favorite. A Celebration with Paula Deen. And this is one of my favorite books because she shares a lot of uh, stories uh, where she's been, how she's discovered recipe, and a lot of love that she puts into it. So this is my favorite book, Paula. But for right now, I'm going to show you a very simple and very creamy and cheesy recipe that's going to be my actual side dish tonight because I just came home from work. And of course, since we're still playing around with the Philadelphia cream cheese, it's going to have a whole 8-ounce bar of Philadelphia cream cheese. Let me tell you how it's made. First, you want to add to a pot 2 tablespoons of butter, a um, quarter cup of chopped, finely chopped onion, and um, you want to go ahead and stir that and cook for a couple minutes. And then to that, you want to add 2 plump diced up small tomatoes, 2 cups of chicken broth, and one cup of rice. You want to bring that to a boil, mix well, put the lid on it, stick your timer on, bring it to simmer for 25 minutes. And this is what we have. And it's very hot because I just made it. Like I said, I just came home from work and I needed something quick because I plan on grilling some chicken breast out on the grill and this will be really yummy with it. So let me take it over here for you. And this is what it looks like. See all the tomatoes are in there? And it's going to be very, very yummy. And it's so simple. So to this, we want to add, of course, eight ounce of Philadelphia cream cheese. And that's where the creamiest of this rice dish is coming from. I mean, and this is really hot, so it's going to melt really good. Also to that, you want to add a quarter cup of um, Parmesan shredded cheese. Yum, look at all that cheese. Also Philadelphia cream cheese. But we're okay with that, girls, right? Because we've been eating Philadelphia cream cheese everything for a month, right? And to that, I want to go ahead and add three tablespoons of fresh parsley. And that's it. All you gotta do is mix this really well, and you'll see how easy this all comes together in the cream cheese melt. Because this is so hot and this is gonna be so yummy. So by the time I go outside. And, and grill for like 15 minutes or so. All of that cheese and, and the parsley and the tomatoes and the flavor of the chicken broth and the rice is all gonna settle in into that rice, that cream.
cream cheese is gonna, the rice is gonna soak some up. It's gonna be so yummy. I mean, this is so cheesy. I mean, look at this, look at this. You get the green from the parsley, bunch of tomatoes, lots and lots of Philadelphia cream cheese. Yum. So quick and so easy, ladies. And this would be a good dish to serve to kids too because it's really mild. It doesn't have anything spicy and it's got some tomatoes in there and you got some herbs to get them used to the parsley. Wow, this looks all well blended already. See how quick this is? So now I'm gonna plate this in a nice serving bowl. And by the way, after I'm done right here, I am going right outside cooking me some chicken breast to go with this yummy, 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 cheesy Philadelphia cream cheese loaded tomato rice. Oh wow, pie, look at that. Can't go wrong with that. I'll sprinkle a little black pepper on top. It's looking so good. And of course, for Paula, we gotta add a little garnish. And of course, we want a little bit more green. So I'm gonna stick a couple pieces of this beautiful basil that I grow myself. I also use the tomatoes I grow myself. This is the time of year where here in Florida, we got nice tomatoes and peppers and basil and all the goodies. But there you have it. This is my cheesy rice and tomato side dish loaded with Philadelphia cream cheese. It's gonna be very yummy. But of course, I can't just leave you as that. I have to taste it. So let me move this to the side and bring this on over right here. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? Take my serving spoon here and just get me a little bit right here, just like that. Look how beautiful and colorful that is with the parsley and the tomato. Well, I'm just gonna have to see how good this is. It's a little hot. Oh. Oh my God, it's so yummy. The tomatoes are so fresh and the parsley, everything is coming through and the creaminess of this with the Philadelphia cream cheese. It's out of this world. It's like the quickest side dish you could ever make. So I hope you all try it. And you real women of Philadelphia, I love you on the website. I am so encouraged and Paula Dean is there with us. And so I hope you guys try this. Very simple, but so delicious creamy rice and tomato dish. Until next time, so long everybody. Bye.